Jamie Caraco and I am a raw artist. Um, I mainly do illustrative paintings and drawings. Um, I, I don't know, I hate to be cliche, but a lot of it could be considered whimsical. I make up a lot of characters. I like to put them in weird situations or nonsensical situations. Just kind of strange, colorful worlds that I make up in my head that I wish could be real. But like, I don't know, I want to make the kind of worlds that I wanted to live in when I was like 10 at recess by myself, hanging out with my Lisa Frank stickers. I like to make things that evoke um, stories and imagination and like art kind of tells stories, but it doesn't lay it all out for you. So, you know, like 10 different people could look at something that I've made and I'll come up with something different yet pertaining to the picture. Um, I guess that's a lot of artists to describe what I make. I think maybe the most inspiring thing is just letting go and allowing yourself to not be afraid of what you're about to make, about like what someone's gonna think of it or it's gonna come out looking crappy. But I mean, I know that I'm good at doing art, so if I mess it up, I can just make a new one. <laughs> I studied to be an illustrator, and I think my goal mainly is to get more illustration work. Um, one of my goals is to have my own solo art show because I've been in a bunch of group art shows with a lot of really talented people but um, to get my own show I have to force myself to do a lot of work so I want to do that work and then, you know, present it to everyone as my own thing not just myself as a piece of something. Like being a piece of something is awesome which is why I'm deciding to be in raw and everything but I think it would push me a lot more. To, to make like 30 to 50 pieces of art and put them all in one place at the same time. <laughs> I'm really excited for the show tonight. At first I was kind of apprehensive because I've joined a lot of like kind of group art sites that you can show your portfolio on. Like, okay, I'll post jobs, do whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, I have to sell these tickets and how am I going to do that? But I actually ended up getting a lot of support and love and help from people that I know. So that's made me way more excited to be a part of the show to know that people are like standing behind me to do it. And I'm like, yeah, I was like afraid of this in the first place. It's gonna be awesome.